It was one of the most incendiary claims in Meghan's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, that she had been reduced to tears by the Duchess of Cambridge during an emotional row in the run, up to her wedding. Now, Kate's uncle has stepped in to defend his niece, saying bluntly, I don't believe for a moment that Kate made Meghan cry. Speaking for the first time since the allegation said, Gary Goldsmith told the Mail on Sunday, I've known Kate since she was born and she doesn't have a mean bone in her body. It's just simply not in her nature. She's even lovelier on the inside than on the outside. If anyone had a hissy fit, it must have been Meghan. Kate would have been trying to make the peace. I would fight for Kate's honor until the day I die. She is the most spectacular person I've ever met. Meghan's comments came after Oprah asked her about reports that she had made Kate cry in a row over bridesmaids' dresses for her 2018 wedding to Prince Harry. The Duchess of Sussex responded, the reverse happened. I don't say that to be disparaging to anyone, adding that Kate later apologized. But Mr. Goldsmith, the 55-year-old brother of Kate's mother Carol, says he doesn't believe a word that Meghan said. When Meghan first entered the royal family, I was made up for Harry, he said. Like the rest of the country, it seemed she was the real deal and it was a marriage made in heaven. But what has happened is heartbreaking. I don't blame Meghan, she's a Hollywood starlet. You can't blame a tiger for biting the head off a sheep. But I don't believe a word that comes out of her mouth. She's an actress and knows how to manipulate her audience. I don't believe for a second she had to Google the words to the national anthem. Harry has been singing it since the age of five. He also questioned Harry's response to the effects that joining the royal family had on Meghan's state of mind. The last time I checked, he was the face of a mental well-being charity, Mr. Goldsmith said, where was he in all this? Surely as her husband, he should have been able to give her the help and support she needed. He's a senior army officer who has been in a war zone. He should be able to stand up for himself and his wife. He shouldn't claim to be family-centric when he has hurt everyone who loves him. You don't ask for anonymity and take a step back from public life to then throw your family and your grandmother under a bus on TV. Why would you do that? The royal family is not racist, it's not sexist, it's not ageist. They are a moral compass. Mr. Goldsmith, a recruitment consultant, contrasted the Sussexes' attitude to that of his niece and her husband. Speaking ahead of his first TV interview next month, in an ITV documentary to mark William and Kate's 10th anniversary, he said, Both William and Kate understand they are being paid by the taxpayer to do a job. They smash it. It's a tough gig. It's relentless. But it's also a position of privilege. If you have that privilege, don't throw it back in people's faces. In all the years Kate has been in the public eye, she has never put a foot wrong. She was born for the role. She has risen above the criticism and just got on with the job. Mr. Goldsmith has had a roller coaster ride with the media himself. He was caught in a drugs sting by the now defunct News of the World. He denied taking drugs and reporter Mazza Mahmood was later jailed for perverting the course of justice. The day Will and Kate got married is on ITV on April 7 at 9 p.m.